Actress Linda Hunt, who won an Academy Award for her role in the CBS blockbuster series NCIS as Henrietta Hetty Lange, won't be returning for the next season of NCIS. If you want to know why Linda Hunt won't be returning for NCIS's next season, keep watching this video for all the relevant details. Let's begin. First up, Linda Hunt won't be back on the show until next season. Hunt made her first appearance in the season 13 opener, having appeared in just a few episodes in the previous season. It was revealed early on in season 13 that Hetty had to return to Syria, where she had previously spent time on an unspecified operation during the previous season. She'll be back for the 14th season, which has already been guaranteed. Speaking to Parade.com, showrunner Scott Gemmell said that it seemed like she was there at the beginning of this season, but then she was taken away. There will be more revelations next season. As a result, we're keen to explore and have fun with the idea of pitting her against Callan in terms of childhood experiences. We caught a glimpse of that showdown early this year, but Hetty vanished before they could really have it out. The COVID-19 epidemic was cited as the reason for Hunt's absence by Gemmell back in October 2020. When speaking about keeping everyone safe, he remarked that Linda is a bit extra special in terms of how they have to look out for her. Hunt was cleared to return for the season 12 finale after Gemmell confirmed in May 2021 that she had received both immunizations. Next, Linda Hunt out of home due to COVID. When it comes to the return of two-time Teen Choice Action Actress winner Linda Hunt to NCIS Los Angeles, it looks like fans of Hetty will have to wait a little longer. Last season, as the COVID pandemic raged, Hunt made only a few appearances. This included the finale, which marked the series' final episode for Renee Felice Smith and Barrett Foa. Linda was out from home more this season due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the team's efforts to keep her safe, as recognized by showrunner Gemmel at the conclusion of season 12. Gerald McRaney's character, retired Navy Admiral Hollis Kilbride, told interim operations manager Nell that Hetty wasn't coming back. He went on to say that she she has had her foot out that door for far longer than he has. The assignment that she's currently undertaking may be her last, and they believe it's time to accept that. When Linda finally returned for the finale after receiving both of her vaccinations, she was ecstatic to be back in her own home. In fact, the actress was so excited to be back on the stage after so much time away, she couldn't contain her excitement. The season 12 finale saw Hetty return to HQ in one piece and with a smile. Titled A Tale of Two Igors, the episode featured Deeks getting kidnapped by an acquaintance of Kirkins, the team investigating the killing of a military dolphin implanted with a Russian microchip, and Eric offering Nell an enticing deal. NCIS Los Angeles fans were delighted to see Hetty and the team back together again, and Gemmel told TV Line that it was wonderful to have Linda back on set, particularly for her parts with Renee. Up next, Henrietta Hetty Lange, one of the show's most beloved characters. Henrietta Hetty Lange is a much-loved character on the show. As a skilled and competent special agent, she is well known for her diplomatic talents. Before becoming an agent, she met and formed ties with several Several other people in the industry. As of season one, she's been the show's most prominent character. The pandemic has kept her out from the public eye, which has disappointed admirers who have been eagerly awaiting her comeback. Linda's character is set to return at the end of the 13th season of the show. As the current season nears its last episode, it's discovered that Linda will not be returning this season. While speaking with Parade.com, Gemmel said the timeline of a young Hetty will not be seen until this fall. The police procedural and military action drama NCIS Los Angeles is presently in its 13th season on CBS. The new season premiered on October 10, 2021, following the show's September 22, 2009 launch. So far, 14 episodes have been aired. After this season, the main show and its spin-off, NCIS Hawaii, have been renewed for a new season. The 20th season of NCIS and the second season of the Vanessa Lackey-led spin-off series will both air side by side. And that's all on actress Linda Hunt's absence from NCIS. Time to move on to some other interesting news. Now in other news. In a new episode of NCIS, Sean Murray's real-life daughter will appear as a guest star. While NCIS investigates a gang of teens for a string of break-ins, Sean Murray's Special Agent McGee develops a friendship with Tegan. And it's clear they work together. Anytime a member of someone's family appears on television as a guest star, it adds an extra layer of intrigue. Considering their real-life relationship as a father and his daughter, it's not surprising that McGee was able to create a bond with Tegan on screen. This is the first time that Sean Murray and his daughter will appear in the same scene on NCIS. It's unclear if Kay Ryan Murphy will appear on the CBS procedural again, but Agent McGee and her character seem to have a strong connection, so it's possible she'll return. McGee's mother-in-law was introduced to the audience for the first time in this NCIS season. However, fans may look forward more to seeing Kay Ryan Murphy portray a character who is not at all linked to McGee on film. 
Depending on how the episode ends and how well their friendship stays up, McGee and Tegan's dynamic might be employed again in the series. Next, Terry Polo, formerly of The Fosters, joins the cast of CBS's NCIS. The show NCIS is in its 19th season, and it hasn't let up yet. Agent Parker, played by Gary Cole, recently got a new character to fill in some of the blanks in his past. CBS has cast Terry Polo as a recurring character alongside Gary Cole on its drama series NCIS. Terry Polo, who appeared in The Fosters, was cast as Vivian Kolchak, Agent Parker's ex-wife. As a substitute for Gibbs, Agent Parker has a lot to live up to, so learning more about him is a good thing. A former agent who left the FBI after her divorce with Agent Parker to become a paranormal investigator for the Defense Department, NCIS Special Agent Alden Parker's ex-wife Vivian Kolchak is set to make a cameo appearance in the Season 19 finale before making a comeback for Season 20 as a regular. Other regular NCIS stars include include Sean Murray, Wilmer Valderrama, Brian Dietzen, Diana Rizanalver, Katrina Law, David McCallum, Rocky Carroll, and Cole McCullough. Season 19's Episode 4 saw Mark Harmon's exit, and Cole helped fill the vacuum. The series is a Belisarius Productions and CBS Studios joint venture, featuring Stephen D. Binder, Chaz Floyd Johnson, Mark Horowitz, Mark Harmon, Scott Williams, David North, and Donald P. Belisario on the executive side. Terry Polo is best recognized as Pam Burns, Robert De Niro's daughter, in the Meet the Parents films, with some of her more recent feature film roles being in JL Ranch and JL Family Ranch 2 with John Voight, Outlaws and Angels with Chad Michael Murray, and Arthur's Anonymous with Kaylee Cuoco and Chris Klein. The Big Leap, which aired on Fox for one season, was Polo's most recent TV series role. The actress had a recurring role in the Foster spin-off Good Trouble, and even appeared in the 1990 miniseries The Phantom of the Opera as Christine Day. Next, NCIS season 19 finale promises to be game-changing. CBS has offered fans a sneak peek at what's to come in the NCIS season 19 finale, set to air at the end of this week, and it promises to be a game-changer. The episode, named Birds of a Feather, will wrap up Alden Parker's storyline in the season finale as they risk their careers and lives to save Agent Parker's life after he's falsely accused of murder. Agent Parker was introduced to the series in the second episode of season 19, taking over the role of Special Agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs, played by veteran NCIS actor Mark Harmon. Along with dealing with being framed for murder, the season finale will also reveal Agent Parker's ex-wife, played by Terry Polo. As the show progresses, she will have a regular part. A former FBI agent, she left the agency after her divorce from Agent Parker. A paranormal investigation post was offered to her instead, and she accepted it. In the end, it's not clear how she'll fit into the larger picture. A few spoilers have been leaked by co-star Katrina Law, who plays Special Agent Jessica Knight. On having a stunt double for the season finale, Law told TV Line that this always bodes well for fantastic, enjoyable action. As for the massive, huge surprise conclusion, Law jokingly said it was beyond her pay grade and they didn't tell her anything. That's a wrap for this video. Are you waiting for Linda Hunt's return to NCIS? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.